Hello everybody and welcome back to Melbury Estate. I'm just selling a bit more silage because we need to get a little bit more money. Just enough to buy a bale trailer. Because in the previous episode on this map we were doing some baling with that Massey Ferguson baler which required a lot of power. But in the end we did get a tractor which was almost suitable. I mean it, it was pretty good but still didn't really have enough power. It seemed to take a lot of power that baler. But anyway... Uh, we need to clear those bales now, so we're just going to continue here. Probably one more load after this, just to play it safe. We'll use the other JCB, I think, to actually stack the bales. Although it can be quite tricky with that one as it's articulated. Okay, so that's £41,000. That should be plenty. We'll just park that there. And now into our other JCB. We do need to buy some bale forks for it. So we'll go over to the store and we'll buy those. Also, we of course need to get the trailer. Now I don't think the trailer does attach to this one, unfortunately. So I have to get the new Holland which we used last time and attach it to that. It would be good if it did attach to this though. I'm sure I've tried it before and it does does not attach to that, I really do not know why. The telehandler which I find the easiest to use is the New Holland one. I don't know what it is about it, I'm sure Giants have done something to it to make it easier. I think someone did comment on that before. Uh, but yeah, it's definitely easy to use. How do you buy? Is it this one over here? Yes. So, we could use the bale trailers which are actually included with the game, which I guess isn't a bad idea. However, I do like the Marshall ones, which of course are still by Giants. Uh, they should be, again, in baling technology. Uh, we've got a £10 one there. These are £10 because I obviously edited it for, for some reason in another game. Um, but we do have the full price ones as well. So... Um, I don't know, we should probably just buy one. I'm going to go for a yellow one. Not the £10 one, that's cheating. £11,000. And I might as well just check and see if it fits, but I'm pretty sure it doesn't. No doesn't. So what I'll do is I'll now buy the forks for it. Uh, I don't know the best ones to use exactly. Usually whatever I use someone else comments and says oh why didn't you use this but I think the bow spike is what you do use. It's what I use today anyway. And this is my first time stacking bells with the new SciTech control panel. So it should make it easier. So we'll put it over here ready. Although actually, no, I don't have follow me working for some reason on this map. So I'll have to drive to our field and then we'll bring the new Holland back. I always find this loader is very light on the front tyres. The front axle is always very light. I don't know why. I suppose there isn't much weight in there because that's where you put in the weight of the bales or whatever you've got in your bucket. Or what I might do is make a straw stack at the side of the field and then when we need them we can bring them down. Obviously I don't want to leave them out there too long but I don't know just for a few days. We can transport them in a few days time. 
So here we are, let's just see how well I can do it. I probably won't be able to do it very well. I probably have made it harder for myself as well, making it articulated instead of using just a standard telehandler. But if we start it around here, I've got three bells very close together here. I will start to stack two on top of each other and then transport them that way, it's just because these are so close. I think one thing, one thing about the pedals is they're not sensitive enough. I don't know if you can change that anywhere. But it's not a complaint, it's just one thing I've noticed. I think you usually transport them in threes if you've got like the extension on the bale spike. There are a few mods around with that. This is obviously just the giant's one. Quite a big gap between them all there. Definitely easier in cab. So what I'll do is do the next load next to that one and make it like a square and then I'll lean over or extend over the two which I've just put there and go onto the back pile again and make that four high. That's the plan. Whether the plan will work I have no idea. Definitely easier with the new Holland though. I should have used that. Okay, so this one's going to the right of the one I just did. Shame it's not square, but not much I can do about that now. Although I could push it maybe. Yeah, that's alright. Maybe if I push the other one as well. Yep. Now I've pushed it too far. Okay. So this load is going to go to the back. Oh, wow, that extends faster than I thought. Shame they're not level. Still, it could be worse. It could have all fallen down. I can't remember how many we did. Was it around 30? I really can't remember. Definitely getting the hang of it now, though. 
really do love this Cytex steering wheel. And again, we'll reach over the back. Oh, don't want that to go. Better leave it there. Otherwise, I'm going to knock that one off the back. This is when it gets harder for me. worked out how to use the extending the boom as well by pressing the red button on the joystick. I always wondered what that was for. coming together slowly it's not going to be a massive stack Which one to go for? It's not easy when I've missed bits or the, the worker actually missed the bits. Uh, there's a strip there which is totally missed. Makes it harder to see the bales. I don't think I'll go above four high. It's not that you can't do. It's just I don't think I'd dare risk it. I've already almost knocked a load off. Okay, so that is <laughs> looking pretty bad actually. None have fallen off yet though, which is a bonus. But uh, we've got a few. Got two or three here, four here, and what is it over there, four, five, six I think over there, so there's still a few to do, just going to continue as I am doing, I think there must have been around 30, definitely not enough to use an auto stacker though. Oh, got a one at the top catching there. Because it's, it's not perfectly aligned. It's far from perfectly aligned. Yeah, it makes it harder. 
suppose that is one good thing about the articulated steer, you can turn and it'll sort of push it on. Quite good. Oh no. Oh, I never even saw that happen. That is so annoying. Oh well. Um, yeah, that isn't good. I didn't even know it had done that. Oh. Well, I'll continue loading the other side. I might come back and sort that out later. Uh, it just depends how long it's going to be here. I was really hoping none would fall down, but clearly I've pushed it too hard. It must have been when I was going up to it like this and I've just pushed it just a little bit too much and knocked it over. Right, that's all them cleared over there then. So it's just six over here. If anyone's ever done a perfect stack doing it this way, then I'd love to see it because it must be really difficult. I know you can get all these different mods which automatically lock all the bales together and align them and everything, uh, but that's kind of cheating. If you do it without doing any of that and you can do it perfectly, then it must be your job because I, could, I certainly can't do it. Not well, anyway. I don't know what we're going to do with this field next. We'll probably leave it as it is for now and move on to another field. This field next to us here, you can see it's also been baled. Not by us. It was already like that. So we could do some baling there as well. but it's probably best to do that when we've got the baler out again. We should have done it before. Anyway, just this load and those two, and I think we're done. I usually miss some, but I think we have actually done them all. I might as well put this one here.
and there we go. So I have to say the right side is much better than the left side. Neither are good. That's obviously atrocious. And that's not too bad. There are a few gaps, obviously where I've pushed it or not lined it up properly. Uh, that I would say is kind of acceptable. This obviously is not. We're going to move these first. Probably in the next video we will bring the trailer here, which I haven't bought yet, and we will begin to load them up. Some will be sold, some will be used for bedding and feed, which we need to do actually. We do need to do some more animal work. But that will be in the next video, which will probably be in a few days time. So until then, thanks for watching and bye for now.